morning. Morning. It's Tuesday, the 17th of October. And we're at the Motorhome and Caravan Show. Let's go inside. Swift, they've got a big stand. Rapido. And straight down there is where we're heading. And why is that? To see the new Cathargo. Yes, the new model for 2024. We're going to be straight in there to take a look. Adria. Roller team. They're all here. I should hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Bit late to set up now. Water trail. Bobbin better. Lovely. Shosson. And we've got camping and caravanning over here. And this is where they do all the talks, which are really good, really interesting. You have various people here throughout the day and you have times so you can choose which one you want to see. Malibu must be getting close. We are, I can see it. Here it is. And here we are, the Katago stand. Where's I'm excited. That? Yeah, where's that new model? <gasps> I think I can see it. <laughs> there it is. Shall we, uh, shall we take a quick look inside? I think so. Let's do it. So this is the new 2024 model, the Katago 145 RB LE. Let's take a look. So this is the superior model. Wow, how beautiful is this? What do you think? Gorgeous, so light and airy. Beautiful. Let's take a look all the way to the back. Oh, and we have the bathroom, separate to the shower. We have the double beds at the back. Come back, Michelle, where are you? <gasps> so beautiful. Wouldn't this be nice to take a look and uh, have a drive around in it? What do you think? Absolutely, let's do it. <laughs> Shall we uh, just jump in the uh, the driver's seat and uh, take it for a spin around the NEC? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't do it, obviously. But you raised eyebrows. <laughs> two or three weeks ago, we did get a chance to take out the 145 and uh, it was amazing, it's beautiful, and we're going to show you now what we thought and tell you how we got on. We're in Cartago City and we're in the new model for 2024, the Citroën 145 RB LE. We're going to take it out for a spin and we're going to show you all around the inside and outside. Four five comes on Mercedes Sprinter chassis and also the Fiat Ducato. This particular model is the Mercedes automatic nine speed. It's very nice to drive, it's got some power to it. Feels very wide being an A class, you know, you've got the full width of the vehicle in front of you. So I'm very conscious that I'm speaking on these narrow roads all the room up, hope nothing comes the other way. But the, uh, the view at the windscreen, yeah, it's superb, isn't it? Yes. Let's take a look at the exterior of the 145. So we have these beautiful decals and we have the, uh, the grill on the Mercedes at the front there, all designed to be timeless. So whether it's brand new or you know 10 years old, it's still going to look good. We've got the bus or the coach mirrors on here. As I was driving, the view out of them was absolutely fantastic. I could see everything around me and obviously inside as well. You've got the uh, the rear camera. As of all Cathargos, there's lots of storage space. And let's take a look at the lockers. So the first one, you can see here you've got lots of space. You've also got the compartment there that takes two leisure batteries. You've got the electrics on and off switch here. Next one is a gas locker. 
room for two 11 kilogram gas bottles and it's got the uh, the plumbing already in there it's got the safety valves on there so therefore crash protection if you're a crash then none of the gas can uh, can escape one of the great selling points about a Catargo is the garage and as you can expect it's a huge garage 350 kilograms of uh, payload uh, in here you can go all the way through big double door on both sides got the electrics you've got uh, access point here to the fresh water tank for cleaning and as you can see on the back here it curves in so this didn't used to be like this on the Cargos. what they've done is they've uh, redesigned it to give you even more space in this huge garage double locks for extra security now the back it's beautiful isn't it just love the curves and the design of that Obviously you've got the big Mercedes badge there. You've got the reversing camera. It looks really nice. Also in the garage, you've got the, the blown air system, which means if you put damp things in here, it's going to dry them out, it keeps it warm. Also you have the light, which uh, I've not switched the mains on yet, so that's going to work. We have the hookup point. We have the, the toilet. So I can see the uh, the tube here. So what this is, this is the SOG system, which basically uh, means you don't have to use chemicals in there. It would just suck away all the gases and it doesn't uh, makes it sure it doesn't smell inside. Every little bit of space is made use of. You know, it's not a huge space here, but uh, you know, it's a space and it's gonna be useful for something, maybe tools. So yeah, they've put a door on and uh, you've got some storage there. And finally, for me, what is the most important door is this door leads you to, again, a fairly small area, but it allows you to uh, see all the way through from one side to the other and it's actually ski length so this is where if you like to ski with your motorhome which these motorhomes are brilliant for because they have a double floor insulation uh, it keeps everything nice and warm uh, yeah shoot your skis through there so it's got the big looks like 17 inch wheels on here with the beautiful black alloys really like those it has an exterior light, which is really useful. Uh, there's no awning on this one yet, so it's an optional extra, but I'd say that uh, you know, it's pretty much invaluable, as long as you've got the payload to, uh, to add one. And that, I believe, is everything I can tell you about the outside of this vehicle. So, let's take a look inside and hand you over to Michelle. Come on in, it's the exciting part now. Obviously with the A-Class, you get loads and loads of space and the views is just immense. It's huge. You've got your blind just here, which goes all the way down, or you can pull it down and then pull the top part down. So you just have this bit covered and you can still see out, which is great. You've got lots of USBs in here, I've noticed, which is fantastic. We've got one located at the driver's side here. There's also another one located just inside of here. And there's another cheeky one where you sit. On your steering wheel, you've got all your audio um, for your telephone and media center and everything. So that's all on here, so it's so easy to use. Plenty of cup holders. I've never seen so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. So many, loads. So the seating area is super comfortable. The captain seats obviously turn around. I'm loving the Lacathago in the wood here. Seatbelt is all attached, super comfy, and also the table is really easy to use. I've got underneath here, there's a little catch, which we pull open. You can move it across. 
you can twist it round, you can slide it. So if you've got probably one, two, three, four, five, it'll squeeze maybe six people comfortably, definitely five people sat here. That's really, really easy to use and it's not too big and in the way, but it's also nice for just the two of you. So I like that. Really handy storage here, underneath here. You've got a really lovely shoe cupboard. So simple, good use of space once again. And you lock it out of the way. So we lift up here and you can see that's where all the things that you put in through the side locker you can get access to really easily. So the TV is just here and it's quite simple to use. I've only done it once but it was all right. It's a 32 inch and there's two red buttons. There's a push button, actually you pull it out, and then you've got a pull button to twist it and then it moves out. So when you're sat in any of these seats here, even this one over here, you can actually see the TV and that's a good size TV. What I absolutely love about this motorhome is the lightness with the bright colour, with the bright cupboards being this lovely cream and the shiny. Absolutely beautiful. Just makes it so nice and I love all the lighting as well. Fantastic. So this one is for your water, fresh, grey and battery levels. This one is for your water heating and also your blown air with the Truma heating. And then lastly, we have an extra added one here. And this is for your gas bottles outside. This actually, you can turn the heating up on those. So your gas bottles are going to get really cold and freeze up. Obviously, they've had to make the fridge slightly smaller. And you've also got a freezer just in here at the top. To keep it within the seven meters. And then we come to the area here. The cooking area. In here we have a crops machine. So you've got your own coffee maker. It's got its own little cupboard. And the one thing I like about all the cupboards is they actually have like a lip. So anything you've got in there is not going to fall off the shelf. So it keeps it nice and secure in there. So we can put this here out of the way. Remove these. Good size sink. And we've also got plenty of light switches you've got one just here you've got a plug socket and then you've got two more switches just over this side here you've got your three burner hob and all your cupboards cutlery drawer the one drawer i really like was this one here finally storage cupboard but then the bin cupboard we have one for recycling well done, Cathargo. Impressed with that one. And there's another cupboard, actually, just to utilise all the space, which is this corner one just here. Pop the button. And again, you can have all your spices and things in there. It is literally just using every little nook and cranny they can probably use. So underfloor storage. This is my gin cupboard at home. And you can understand why. They are absolutely huge. And it keeps the stuff really nice and cool as well. So if you've got wine or anything or water, it keeps it nice and cool in there. It's a double insulated. It's also lit up as well. So you can see everything that's going in there. You've also got your water dump and... Fresh dump. Fresh dump, that's it. That's frost protection. Frost protection. I don't have anything to do with this bit, so I need guidance on that one. <laughs> and one other... Also got grey waste under there. There you go, grey waste as well. Oh my God, definitely don't get involved in that one. And then one other little cupboard, which we use in ours as our shoe cupboard, but you've got that there. So this is really good for storing all your bags and bits and pieces under there. Again, a good length and it goes right underneath. So it's a good size. One other thing I didn't show you is you've got just here, for your step and all your different light switches. And again, another little plug socket. So in here, when the door firmly shut, we have the toilet. It's a really big area, actually. They're saying this is just the toilet area. So we have two little cupboards with a really, I like this, with the little lights going down the side. So it's much better for when you're doing your makeup and everything, you need good lighting. They're quite narrow inside. 
but they've got the little rails on there so it can hold all your shampoos and conditioners and things. This is a bigger cupboard so you can get your proper wash bags and things when you are using the campsites. And then another little tiny narrow one just here but again they didn't need to put that in there but they did so it's more storage. Toilet, a uh, good size sink in there and under here is your dirty bin. Really good. Toilet roll holder there and there's also a little vent so it's not going to get all your smelly clothes in there. I'm going to be festering, they're still going to get the air going through but this is such a good size. You've got two more hooks this side as well so I really like this and it's nice and light and bright. That's for the toilet roll to come out. Oh, is it? Oh, mm. I thought that was air. God, that's so me, isn't it? Well, well I like that idea. Okay, shower. So firstly with the shower, you've obviously got the flooring that's in here, but you remove this, simply lifting it up. It's so basically it doesn't get really damaged and filthy dirty. And then, Slide out the door, open one side. Are we ready? Don't do it. Oh my God, it's happening, it's happening. <gasps> funky chicken. You can so do a funky chicken in there. How good is that? Good little shower. You can obviously leave it on there or you could, let's hope there's no water in here. <laughs> hose yourself down you've got two places to put your shampoos and conditioners and things there's also a little step there and it's just dead simple to use left and right for your heat and then you've also got your hikey light in here um it's not called a hikey light what is it called skylight skylight that's a skylight and i've noticed there's a bar so you can hang your towel there so after you've had a shower it's going to dry it off and again, you've got all your little blinds for both. So, a really lovely shower. And it is one of the premium showers because you've actually got the shower separate from your toilet, which is really good. One other thing under here is you have got your access to Andy Barnett. Your grey and your fresh. Red, grey, blue for fresh. Correct. And that's just for cleaning, basically. Bedroom area. We have two cupboards, one this side, and they actually have a hanging rail under here, which you can get to either by just going through, or if you've got stuff right at the very back, lift it up and you can get to your hanging rail that way. Just get in there, show how big it is. No, because you'll lock me in. Go on. Oh my God, don't lock me in then, will you? Oh my God, probably be... What if I can't get my bottom in? Oh, they're gonna kill us for this. Oh, bomb's gone in. Please don't lock me in, I've got a fear of it. Oh, there's a light in here as well. <laughs> I can't believe you've just made me do that. So just to demonstrate, even large things can get in there. I mean, uh, <laughs> it's a large cupboard. Oh my gosh, rude. Another cupboard, exactly the same. Do you want to get in that one? Oh, I'm not that daft. <laughs> And you can see I've actually got part here, which we don't use on ours. We like to just use it with the two separate beds, but you can actually move the stairs forward and then you get the ladder that comes out and this fits in here. So it makes it into a really, really big bed. I'm just saying about the beds. I've had a little practice and I've... the beds, this is the shorter one, this side. I'm five for eight. I apologise, my shoes aren't dirty, are they? No. Okay. I'm not going to actually pull them down. I'm five for eight. Look, how much room there is at the end of my feet. And that side is even longer. So really, really, the beds are much bigger than they usually are. Again, we've got lots of storage and they're really deep cupboards. Nice and bright. And at the sides, you've got these to stop anything coming out. So put your jewellery and stuff. Just at this end, you normally have the TV. I'm presuming a TV will come out there, but there is a little track that goes across there. I thought it was the TV, and Andy thinks there's some sort of curtain that goes across there, but there's nothing there, so we can't actually verify what it is. With all Cathargo beds, they are slatted, 
and this is what makes the beds so comfortable and also the mattresses we have the best night's sleep on our Cathargo probably better than our really expensive mattress at home it is so low lovely and it's all blown air all the way around you can see the holes here so when you're sleeping at night you've got the air coming through another great feature so when you are skiing or somewhere really cold you're not going to get cold you, you just it just keeps a nice ambient temperature at all times you've got a little mirror you've also got your usb on both sides this time and also plug socket at the back and then you've got these little lights for reading they have literally thought of everything it's so good and i love the cream top it just keeps everything really light so the 145 has been designed to bring the liner quality to a much shorter motorhome and i really believe they have done that it just speaks volumes it's superb really really like it can't find any negatives we've only been in it for a couple of hours but super pleased it's great it's got everything you could possibly need and i really like the shower one side and the toilet the other and the lock-off bathroom perfect Let's do the e-bike test. Do they fit in comfortably? Quite often, you see people having to take the front wheels off. But the garage, plenty of room in there for two or three e-bikes. Fantastic.